solving multiple area problems. In this particular room, this problem asks us to find the area. The area is the inside rather than the outside of a figure. In real life, all rooms are not necessarily round, nor square, nor rectangular shape. We're going to have to divide this room into two areas in order to find the area of this total room. If you look at this room, this part looks like a rectangle, where this part looks like a circle. If we draw a line down from the top to the bottom, this line will constitute the diameter of this circle. If this is the diameter, the radius is equal to one half the diameter, which means that the radius of this circle would equal to eight feet. In order to find this side of this rectangle, we would subtract 30 minus eight, because from this point across is eight feet, the entire line is 30 feet, we subtract 30 minus eight, we get 22 feet. This side will be 22 feet. From this point to this point, 22 feet. This part is eight feet. The entire line is 30 feet. The first thing we're gonna do is find the area of the rectangle. The formula for the area of a rectangle is A is equal to length time width. In this particular problem, the length is 22 feet times the width, which is 16 feet. Now we're going to multiply 22 times 16. 22 times 16, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2, 2, 5, 3. So we get the area is 352 square feet. And this is the area of this region, which is the area of the rectangle. Now we're going to have to find the area of this half circle. The formula for the area of a circle, A is equal to pi times the radius squared. Since this is only half of a circle, we're going to use the formula pi times the radius squared divided by 2 is equal to the area of this particular circle because it is only one half of a circle. Pi is 3.14 times the radius, which is eight, times eight, because the radius is squared, divided by two, is equal to the area of this circle. 3.14 times eight, times eight, is equal to 200.96, 200 point nine six over two is equal to eight divided by two is equal to one hundred point forty eight is equal to eight and this is one hundred point four eight square feet now in order to find the area of this entire figure we must add area one which is the rectangle, plus area two, which is the half circle. Area one, which is the rectangle, was equal to 352 feet squared. Area of region two, which consists of a half of a circle, is equal to 100.48 feet squared. When we add these together, we get 452.48 feet squared. Therefore, the area of this entire region, this entire room, is 452.48 feet squared. Problem number two, find the area of the side of a house. Suppose you wanted to paint your house and you wanted to find the area. This area can be divided into two regions. The first thing I'm gonna do is draw a line across at this point here. The base of this triangle is equal to 26 
feet. The height of this triangle is 9 feet. The length of this rectangle is 26 feet. The width of this rectangle is 10 feet. We can find 10 by subtracting 19 minus 9. We get 10 feet. Now we're going to find the area of the rectangle and the area of the triangle. We use the formula, the area is equal to the length times the width. The length of this rectangle is 26 feet times the width of this rectangle is 10 feet. We multiply 26 feet times 10 feet, we get 260 feet squared. Now we have to go and find the area of the triangle. So we can add the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle in order to find the total area of this figure. The formula for the area of the triangle, area is equal to one half the base times the height. The area is equal to one half times the base, which is 26, times the height, which is nine. A is equal to one half 26, which would be 13 times 9. A is equal to 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 2 would be 11. 1 is 17 square feet. Now in order to find the total area, we must add the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle. The area of the rectangle it's 260 square feet. The area of the triangle is 117 square feet. We add these together, 773 square feet. The total area of this particular figure is 377 square feet. Before workers put on siding, they put up styrofoam as insulation. If this wall measures 20 feet in length, 10 and a half feet in height, and the height of the triangular roof is eight feet to the base of the rectangle, how many square feet of styrofoam and siding will they need? We want to find area. So we find a rectangle here that measures 10 and a half feet by 20 feet. And so it's length times width. Area equals 20 times 10 and a half equals 20 times 10.5 equals 210 square feet. We put that in memory, memory plus. We see the triangular shaped roof. That measures 20 feet in the base and the height. So area of the triangle equals 1 half base times height. 1 half equals 0.5 times the base, which is 20 feet, times the height, which is 8 feet, equals 80. So that's 80 square feet. Put that in memory plus, memory recall. So the total area of this is 290 square feet. Now if you continue on this video, you see uh, the building across the way has a window in it. Now that window measures two by four feet we need to deduct that area from that side of the building. So let's clear the memory here. So 2 times 4 equals 8 minus memory. Memory call. Now we need 282 square feet. I didn't have to use the calculator to multiply 2 by 4, but I want you to notice that I use memory minus here to do the minus 8 to get 282. We could have done that in our head, 
but we just want to teach you how to use the calculator. Engineers, doctors, pharmacists, nurses, machinists, carpenters, and many other fields, their math must be 100% accurate. I'm the president and owner of Reliable EDM here in Houston, Texas. We do what is known as electrical discharge machining, or EDM. This particular part that I'm taking out of this piece of steel was EDM'd from this shape over here. We put a wire through there as a starter hole, and this gets programmed on a computer, and the machine just cuts around the shape, whatever you put into the machine. But our workers sometimes have to put in certain numbers into the machine. And one day, we had a worker that put in this number, 0 0.074. And the number should have been 0 0.0074. And all he did, he just forgot to put in one of these little zeros. And maybe you want to sit down what I'm going to tell you. That simple mistake cost our company over, are you ready? $47,000. Just leaving out a simple little zero on a number. And so you might wonder sometimes, well, you hear me say so much, double check and triple check your work. It's very important, particularly when you're working on parts that cost a lot of money. Here you're working mostly on pencil and paper, but it's a good habit to get into when you're working. To give you an idea how much money is $47,000, let's imagine a worker making $10 an hour. He pays no taxes. He takes all the money home that he earns. He works 40 hours a week, so it's 10 times 40 equals $400 a week he earns, and we'll multiply that by 52, because that's how many weeks there are in a year, times 52 equals $20,800. Let's multiply that by 2 again, times 2, and that equals $41,000. If this worker works solidly for two years, never a day off for sickness or anything like that, he would earn $41,600. And you can see that's not even equivalent to this $47,000 that we lost just from a simple, oops, I left off a zero. So as you can see, a zero sometimes is very, very important. So get in the habit of double and triple checking your work. You'll never regret it. Now complete the problems on the next two pages and then take the test. And remember, if you need additional help, there's additional helps and tests in the book. Please work the problems and take the test in your workbook. Number success, the practical way to learn.